Hey guys, this is Kenesha with VeryThoughtfulLife.com. Today I want to ask you, what is your normal? So I was thinking about um, how sometimes we get so caught up into what we view as normal. And it occurred to me, like I thought about years ago when I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show. Anybody who knows me know when the Oprah show used to come on, I used to watch it daily at work. <laughs> um, but anyway, there was, this, there was a story where there was a family where the father was sleeping with all of the daughters. Um, and on the show, there were many of the, the young women, um, even though they were adult now, they were having babies by their father. And I remember the lady said she thought it was normal. And she thought because like she literally grew up in this, um, this being a natural, a normal, a daily thing in her family, she thought this was normal. She thought this is pretty much what every dad did. So, so the ima she imagined that this is what her friend's dad did. Like this was her normal. And that makes me think about how many things did we experience when we were young that we think is normal. And we never challenge it because it, it's not that extreme. It wasn't, it's not as extreme as, you know, possibly sleeping, having sex with our siblings or our father, but maybe it's, you think it's normal to have to um, be in a marriage where you argue all the time. Like, is that your normal? Have you, do you think that, oh, this is just what a relationship is, that we just argue all the time? Or perhaps you think it's normal um, if you're in relationships where people mistreat you, call you out your name, um, because you grew up hearing that maybe your parents call you out of your name or maybe you heard your father or your mother say those kind of words to each other that you think is normal <laughs> when someone calls you um, bitch, ho, um, just whatever these words are that make you feel less. Here's the thing, like we have a natural intuitive thing about ourselves. I call it spirit. Um, soul, but there is typically something in us as a child that when something does not set well in our soul, there's a feeling that we get. And it may be a thought or just some notion that this doesn't feel right. Now, because the environment around us continues to operate in that and perhaps over time convince us that it's normal, there's still that sensory inside of us that's telling us there's something about this not right, this, that is not right. And I understand that many of us have learned to ignore the sensory. What I want you to do is to get back to that part of yourself where you can trust and you can hear for yourself what is safe, good, loving, peaceful, joy, and normal for you. Um, normal, I understand, could be different for everyone. But I want you to know that there are options. There are options in normal. So, and I want you to be aware that perhaps you can create your new normal. It was normal or it is normal to go to school, graduate from college, um, land a job, work for, tw work that job, well, it used to be, work that job for 20, 30 years. That used to be normal. Now it's almost normal to start your own business, hustle, 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 um, to create your own thing. The point is, what is your normal? What works for you? You do not have to settle for a life or a lifestyle that someone else has told you is normal or easy. If you know it doesn't set well with your soul, be open to um, exploring and learning new ways and new things. I'll, I'll share this with you guys. This is something I didn't know about until we started living abroad and Andre started taking jobs abroad. <laughs> When I was visiting um, a couple of months back, you guys, if you're following me, you know that I went to Thailand to hang out with a friend of mine. <clears throat> now, when I purchased the airline ticket, <clears throat> what I didn't understand at the time was that we have, with, with my husband's company, what, we call, what they call a flex pool. So there's money that's accumulated monthly that we can use to buy airline tickets. So it's not normal to be on vacation and someone else pays for the flight. That's not, that is not what you typically hear about, right? But what I'm telling you, when you move out of what other, the box that other people have created for you, that is so-called normal, 
you will find <laughs> that there is this whole other world of possibilities. And that's where I want you guys to live. I want you to start moving and operating in the level of possibility that exists. I love the scripture that says, all things are possible to those who love the Lord, like all things. <laughs> so, so whenever I find myself in a situation, I'm like, all things are possible. And I want you to shift to that mindset. So instead of being in the mindset, of, I can't ever have this, nothing ever goes right in my life. Um, thinking that struggling financially, um, some people glorify their struggle <laughs> because they think it's normal. I've even heard like many Christians think that that because they're struggling, it's almost like that's their sign that they're doing well with the Lord because the devil only messes with those people who are doing great things for God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might be true. I don't want that experience. <laughs> I don't need that to be my normal. Um, I'm okay. I get that like good and bad things happen in life. I'm okay with that. I get it. There are going to be times I was not meant to have easy life every day. I get that. I get that normal life cycle is ups, downs, happiness, joy, pain, suffering. I get all of that as a part of life. And I'm, I'm mindful of that. I don't think that the suffering is God punishing me. And I don't think that my hard time it's the devil having his way with me. I just get that that's a part of cycle and that's the part of life cycles. Um, but what I want you to get is that at any moment you can shift your mindset. You can tap into a new normal. You can create the all things is possible and that can be your normal. So start being intentional about the life you want. If you want a marriage that is full of peace financially blessed, um, blissful, your husband comes home and he's happy to see you or you're happy to see him. If you want that, all things are possible. So if your normal has been arguing all the time, can't seem to get, get right with your bills, can't get your mindset right, y'all don't agree on anything, and you have settled that this is normal, oh, this is just normal, this is what relationships are, that's not true. You have the ability because you can connect to something higher than yourself. I call him God. Um, and he will pour into you guys amazing thoughts, new ideas. That's why the Bible keeps saying renew your mind. You got. We have to learn to renew our mind. Renew, renewing the mind will renew your life. Connect to something greater than yourself. What you're calling normal may not be the best level of life. So I invite you to tap into what am I calling normal? And does my normal lead me to peace, joy, love, sound mind, comfort, abundance? I like those kind of words. Like that's, that's where I want my normal to be. Um, and again, I'm okay with life happening. I get that. There's nothing I can do to avoid certain situations, but there are things I can do to avoid chaos in my own day-to-day -day life. And it starts with a sound mind. It starts with connecting to God, making wise decisions, understanding if there's an area in my life that is manifesting and operating um, in pure, what feels like hell to me all the time, that is not, I'm not being punished. That is me needing to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally grow in an area that I'm not good in. That is me being, God is challenging me or encouraging me or pushing me to a different level. He's saying, learn something new. Um, create a new habit. Do a new thing. Surround yourself with new people. That is what that's, that is happening in your life. Chaos does not have to be your normal. Um, crazy fussing, cursing, fighting, that, that doesn't have to be your normal. If you enjoy it, go forth and be happy. <laughs> but there are other options. And right now, today, I want you to really consider that you could have a new normal. So what will your new normal be? What will you do to create the type of normalcy that you want in your life, your marriage with your kids, 
what do your kids get to grow up and call normal? Because you, whatever you are doing in front of them, the, the way you talk, the language you use will be their normal. And is that okay with you? Are you okay with your children's normal being with where you are right now? And if you're not, do something different. Learn something new. Push yourself um, above. Get uncomfortable and create a new normal for yourself. So this is Kenesha with VeryThoughtfulLife.com. I hope this helps someone. Bye-bye.